Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I am going to be doing a massive Christmas haul of some decor that I picked up over the past week. So if you follow me on Instagram then you'll know that I've been away on holiday. Ben and I have been away for the past couple of weeks. We've been in Singapore again which we went to last year and then this time we went to Thailand as well. Both places Places were absolutely amazing. Singapore definitely has my heart. We do have friends out there so it's nice to see them and it's a good excuse to go out there. But I will be doing a haul of some skincare that I picked up out there and also in Thailand. And I'll explain a bit more in that video but I just wanted the first video back to be Christmas related. So I hope you enjoyed my pre-filmed video. I pre-filmed for three weeks so the past three weeks you would have seen ones that I've been working on before I went on holiday so I'm only just getting into the Christmas spirit again and putting up all the decorations I'm just gonna get everything out and sort it into the pile so you can see what's from each shop and hopefully this will give you some decor inspiration as well just while I'm sorting everything out this bag is from Disneyland Paris I picked this up a couple of years ago Ago. Let's start off with Primark. Now they had lots of beautiful Christmas Disney stuff and I must admit that this was one of my favourite places for Christmas decor this year. The first thing that I had seen originally was this Christmas Disney throw and I was so pleased they still had it. So this is the printed Sherpa throw. This was £12 and it's reversible. So on the one side is Mickey in his red truck with the tree on the back. I'm totally obsessed with anything that has the red truck and the tree on the back. So I was so pleased to find this. And then on the other side is this white teddy bear Sherpa fabric. And this I think is quite a big one. It says it's 120 by 150 centimeters. So I thought about putting this in the living room. Next from Primark are these decoration hooks. Quite a simple, boring thing. These were 80p, but I thought these would go better on the decorations than the actual string. Sometimes they don't look good with the string. You kind of can't place them where you want them. So I thought these metal ones would be better. They come in two sizes, a small and a large one. And these are in silver and they also had them in green as well. Then the other thing I got, which was a really good find was this doormat. So I'm gonna put this in our hallway. This was £4.50 and it says Santa please stop here and it's in this really nice burlap and it's super thick as well. All these things with regards to home decor I will show you in my next Christmas video where I put them so you can see everything. If you want me to do a full Christmas house tour then I will again but everything is mostly the same as last year just with a few extra added bits that I bought. Next from Primark I got these firefly lights. I have some in the back here and I also have some in the basket down there. I really prefer these to the other battery powered fairy lights just because they're a bit more dainty and they just give that touch of sparkle. These were £2.50 and the lights are on the gold wire. I believe they do the wire in silver and copper as well. And you just need three AA batteries. Then the last thing is this beer ornament that I got for Ben. I'd seen this when I first discovered all the Christmas decor in Primark and it's just a crate of beer and this was in the sale for 90p. The normal price was 150 which was super cheap anyway but I just thought this would 
look nice on our Christmas tree. From Home Bargains, I picked up this set of four coasters in the tartan pattern, but I did see today some ones in Asda that were a little bit nicer, but these will do for now. I really like the tartan for Christmas. Speaking of Asda and tartan, I saw this gorgeous tartan double oven glove from Asda. This was £4 I think, I will double check and leave all the prices down below. But I really like the red as the main colour with the dashes of green. This is what the cases were like in there. We do have a Christmas oven glove but it is a bit sort of worn now. So I wanted to find a new oven glove so I was pleased about this and a really great price as well. Then the other thing from Asda, they had so many nice Christmas things in Asda. But I got this for Sully to put under his food. It's a candy cane placemat in this plastic, this bendy plastic. This was only a pound. From Poundland, now the Christmas decorations in Poundland I thought were slightly disappointing, not as good as previous years, but there is things that I always buy in there every year for Christmas to decorate, for instance, the garlands. So the first thing I found in like the DIY Christmas section were these pine cones. They're covered in a white, so they look like they've been snowed on, and you get a, you get nine in here. So I got a couple of packs, I thought these would look nice on the Christmas Christmas tree. Then the other thing I replaced were the candy canes. We had some from previous years. I just use them for decor. We don't tend to eat them, but they look really nice in the tiered tray that I've got in the kitchen. They'd lasted quite a few years, but they were a bit soft and definitely past their sell by day. You get 12 in a pack. Then the last thing from Poundland that I love for my garlands. Actually, all the garlands that you see that I've had in previous um, Christmas tours, I will link my Christmas playlist down below if you wanna see the previous home decor tours for Christmas. But these are from Poundland, but I haven't seen them this year. I did pick up an extra one a couple of years ago, just because I thought maybe I wouldn't see them again, and they were such a bargain. I think they were two pounds for just one length, but I always incorporate these berries that you can get in their artificial flower section. So they have them in white as well. I'm thinking about getting some white berries for the tree, but I just needed a couple more of the red ones just to fill in some sections on the garlands. I've got one garland here, one on the landing down the stair banister, and also one in the lounge. But these you can just pull apart, and they're on this wire, and I usually just pull them apart so I get three sprigs and just bend them all throughout the garlands. I do have a video on this where I initially did the one on the banister, so I'll link that down below. But these are great because they're only a pound. Then I just have one thing from Sainsbury's, which is this foliage, I guess you would call it. This was two pound, but there's lots of sprigs of this, and I thought this would look nice in the tree. We'll see. I'm gonna do a whole video where I decorate the tree so you can see what I end up using, but I've just bought a couple more bits for this year because I kind of want to take away our silver decorations and just play with the red, white, green, and the natural, like, burlap. So I thought these would be good, and they're a good price considering how many sticks you get in here. Then one thing from Tesco's I bought, Tesco's again was disappointing for Christmas decorations. It wasn't very inspiring to me. Nothing really caught my eye and was very exciting, but I did see these that I thought that would look nice on the tree. This is a four pack of cinnamon berry sticks and these were around three pounds. I've just realized I forgot to show you something else I picked up in Poundland. It's hiding in here. 
it's one of these little white houses that lights up. Then I grabbed a few things from a local hardware store that we have. They sell everything from decor to cards to cleaning stuff and all sorts of things like that. But I saw this burlap ribbon that I thought that would look good on the tree. I presume this has got wiring so I can kind of bend it about but again we'll see how it all goes when I decorate. Then the other thing that I got from that shop was this cute red truck with the tree and the headlights actually light up. I just thought it was so sweet for in the living room. Last but not least is B&M. I saved the best till last. The first thing is I got this pack of 20 red baubles and they come in all different finishes so matte glitter and the shiny these were 2 dollars so a really good price for that amount of baubles then I saw the cutest things for Sully so I picked him up I'm probably gonna give this to him now because it's Christmas related and it doesn't make sense to give him a Christmas toy after Christmas so I thought this would be good for him because it looks quite hard wearing. This is called a festive face dog toy and this is a snowman. They also had a Santa and a elf and it's in this really nice, um, not rough fabric but it's not as soft as like a cuddly toy fabric and then up here it has this rubber bit. This was only 150. I do find the toys in B&M, the dog toys, the best in there. They seem to have the best selection. And then it's just got a little squeaky bit in the bottom. Then the other thing I got for Sully, because this is his first Christmas, was a little Christmas jumper with a Santa on. So this is knitted and it was only three pounds. I got this in the small and the reason why I like this one is because it's really stretchy, it's not tight on him at all and it's easy to put on. I will film a cutaway so you can see him with it on but the neck's really nice and big so it's not restricting at all but he's not going to have it on for long, I think we'll just pop it on him for Christmas day but I just thought that was so cute because I'm a new dog mum and I'm just getting super excited for all the Christmas dog stuff. Then the other thing I got from b and I'm just seeing if there was anything else. No, it was just these. So these houses um, were not in the Christmas decoration section. They're in the home decoration where they have all the hanging wall decor pieces and lots of things with artificial leaves on. If you've been in there you'll know where I mean but these were with I think the blush pink decor section. So I got three of these, one big one and two small white houses and I just, I'd seen on Pinterest this beautiful display with the little white houses for Christmas and then lots of green foliage. So I'm gonna try and do something like that on our laddered shelf at the top. And then I wanted one for our coffee table tray. These are the cheapest I've seen them and then the one from Poundland I thought would look nice with it. But this big one was three pound and it's a tea light holder. So you could either put a normal tea light or a lead one in there. And then the small one was two pounds. So like I said, I picked up two of these, but I thought they would go all nice together with the Poundland one. They did have this Poundland house in a silver as well. I'm really pleased with these because I just think they look really nice and clean and sleek. So that is it guys. I think I've covered everything. I really hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PVB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.